One thing that I like is the way we pick problems here. So rather than reading papers and going in an arbitrary direction, we can talk to product teams, try to understand challenges that they're facing and develop our research agenda based on that. At Microsoft, I can work on real-world problems where I can see my research will make an impact. This is the greatest job I've ever had or ever hoped to have. I work with some of my favorite people in the world. I work with some of my heroes, actually. The best thing about working at Microsoft Research in Cambridge is just the level of ambition in the lab. For someone joining the team, I think we have this opportunity here to redesign the whole hardware and software computing stacks. Before joining Microsoft Research, I was a faculty member at a research institute, so I was in academia. And I came to Microsoft because I wanted to apply my research to real-world problems and have impact. I work on two topics, privacy-preserving machine learning and side-channel attacks on modern CPUs. Both topics have in common that there's systems processing confidential data, and without protection, they leak that confidential data all over the place, and we're trying to prevent that. I have great mentors and great collaborators, and it's really fun to come in every day. I was a PhD student at National University of Singapore, and I joined Microsoft three years ago, first as a postdoc, and then joined as a senior researcher in the team. I got to participate in a discussion with the founder of Microsoft Research and some other great senior leaders in the team on generations of research innovation at MSR. Just being a part of that discussion and listening and hearing to their experiences made me realize that it's such a great opportunity to be at MSR and contribute to research. I work with researchers and engineers here at the lab and across the world. We're aiming to make Azure the first fully confidential cloud. I worked in industry for a long time, for about 20 years before I did my PhD. I eventually did a PhD in programming language theory. MSR offered the opportunity to continue doing amazing research, but do it in an environment where the impact is just on a completely different scale, where you can not just produce something great, not just change people's lives with it, but change the way the world operates. That was incredibly exciting. To be honest, I interviewed at one place. I didn't even bother interviewing anywhere else. <laughs> Being able to work in this theme, I think, is particularly special. Our real goal is to make confidential computing ubiquitous for everyone and change the whole nature of privacy, confidentiality, and personal control over your own information. I focus mostly on hardware security and in particular on confidential computing and how it applies to some of the modern workloads like artificial intelligence. Some of the work that I'm most proud of is some of the pioneering work we did in the area of confidential machine learning where we essentially defined a blueprint for how a modern computing infrastructure like GPUs and accelerators can be enlightened with new security capabilities that allow them to process extremely sensitive data with very strong security guarantees. And this blueprint is now very widely accepted and we are seeing a lot of interest both in academia and in the industry to adopt that blueprint and deliver a new class of devices. I lead the Confidential Computing Research team. We do research on security and privacy to make the world a safer place. We also work very closely with product groups to ship our innovations in products. So this is, this is a great opportunity. Essentially, we feel we can change everything. We've been moving the whole industry on a shift to confidential computing, and, and that's very exciting.